Hello there, peoples. For my physics project today, I shall explain conduction, convection, and radiation, the three main ways heat transfers. So let's just get started already. First, we'll be looking at conduction. Conduction is when heat transfers from a warmer object to a cooler object by the two or more objects touching. So, take this wooden vat for example. It's been pretty cold, sitting out here like that overnight. Let's have that random Eskimo over there pick it up. Now, time freeze! Here's what's happening. The warm molecules in the mitten and the cold molecules in the vat are transferring. The heat will continue to transfer until both objects have reached thermal equilibrium, which is when they reach the same temperature. However, this guy's a human, so he'll always be generating heat. So he'll just get as close to thermal equilibrium as possible. Well, there's one example of conduction, let's go look at another one. Like on top of this iceberg over here. Whenever you stand still, you'll be doing conduction to whatever's below your feet. In this case, it will be the freezing mountain below me. Only the portion I'm standing on will heat up though, because the mountain is so big, and my body's so tiny compared to it, that I can't possibly provide enough heat for the whole mountain. So my feet and this part of the mountain will conduct heat into each other. So only this particular section of the mountain will be warmed up. Anyway, I'm sure that's all I really need to explain about conduction, so let's move on to convection! To see an example of convection, just plug in the Nintendo Wii and pop in your own copy of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, take a look at this hot spring here. Sorry, Link, but you're not the star of the show this time. Anyway, convection is when heat transfers to a fluid, which is a liquid or gas. The warmer fluids rise up while the cooler fluids sink down. As you can see, it's pretty steamy in here. This is because the warmer water rises up to the top and quickly evaporates in steam. Also, here's a little chart to help you understand things a bit better, because I'm probably not doing the best job at explaining this. Also, as mentioned, our bodies produce heat. So does that mean heat rises out of us? Of course it does! That's why we wear clothes, to trap the heat in and keep our bodies warm. Our final example of heat transfer is radiation. Let's take a nice trip to Delfino Plaza, where the sun always shines. Now we go to Mario, getting a tan, and feeling the warm sand under his back, conducting heat. So how is this radiation? Well, the sun does it. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Ah, oh, let's just put it right there. Anyway, what radiation actually is, is the warming of something through electromagnetic waves. And you know what's special about those? Well, they can travel all the way through space! This is, of course, how we get heat. The sun's electromagnetic waves radiate through space and warm the Earth. And Mario. Another thing that radiates heat is fire. Now, Pokeball Go! The Pokemon Charizard here, I'm sure you all recognize him, will demonstrate how fire radiates heat. Now you probably won't notice this, but Charizard's flames are actually warming me up with the electromagnetic waves that fire generates. And you'll also notice that Charizard's flame is getting smaller and losing heat, much like the sun is always losing heat because it's always radiating it. However, since it's just a simple flame, it's losing heat much more quickly than, say, the sun or a fireplace. But you still get burned for going too close. Well, that's my project for the three ways that heat transfers. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time on PBS Kids.